John? John, can you hear me? It's here. I, I can hear you. It's soft, but I can hear you. Daddy. Daddy? Hands where engineer edges is set in is set in the platform. Yeah, I I've noticed. Temporarily out of service. The ported up entrance indicates that the champs have been out of service for some time. We can go that way. We cannot go this way, can we? Don't notice at least graffiti rare uh, trafficked areas, spread and conventional forms of life. Here the graffiti attacker has covered the tram station with a wild variety of tribal markings. Yes. The brought up entrances indicate that the trams have been out of service for some time. What a surprise. Overhead tram rail. The magnetic stops on the tram guide rails look sturdier than many other bars of this aging whistle. Hmm. Intriguing. Tram line in the shadow. In trams, grip the tracks greedily with their many legs. If you call them legs. There is some sort of interference with the structure. Uh, I'm in a tram station. Right. Coasts or holograms. Whatever they may be. It was certainly some sort of figurine. Nonetheless. And a uh, child running and, and yelling. For sure. Don't notice there to be anything otherwise. Just screams of ghosts of a like. The tower. I am pressurizing the raw materials containment tank. Yeah, come in. John, thank goodness, I can hear you. He just disappeared. No radio, no PDT. Who the hell was that? Dr. Herodas Milan. Has a special project. He knew you. It's a big ship. And, um,. I'm in a different division to him entirely. I only met him once. A real arsehole. I just want to get my family out of this goddamn place. That's the plan. If it can be possible, that is. Alright, I'm not exactly sure where we are, and this doesn't look exactly uh, totally like promising or anything, but. I guess there's not a lot of choices for. Where you mentioned earlier that you lost my PDT. Seven. Personal data tag. Every person on board has one. Like animals. The tags monitor everything. Security access, food intake, location tracking. Everyone has a tag. We can use it to find my family. I'm afraid it doesn't work like that, John. Like hell it doesn't. If I'm tagged, then so are they. I can only access your tag because the dot make scanners registered you. I scan for your family and I can't pick them up. Are they, are they on the ship? Have they been rescued? It only means their PDTs haven't been activated. But I still have an idea that might just work. What is this place that is just closing and opening new paths for us? I don't notice anything in here that would be of importance other than place to stop from time to time. Well, I don't see anything else we can do. Hmm. From the crew quarters, you should be close to an infirmary with a DNA sequencer. If you could get your blood into the sequencer, I can scan the ship for familial DNA. And then we can find your daughter. Then... Use DNA to find Ellen. Exactly. Hmm. Notice. Reserve power facilities are online. 
Backup systems are now enabled and functioning at benchmark levels. The outside temperature is minus 218 degrees Celsius. 218 degrees Celsius. Minus. Hmm. That's very warm. Well, what can you expect if we are in space? The scaffolding forms a protective shell around assorted machinery resin towards high ceiling. Maze-like shadows are cast on the walls and crown. Yes. Yes. A multitude of machines and piles knitted together lie redundant. Security office commons. I'm don't know if I want to go to security office, but it may be important. Well, there's dead security guards. I would assume this might be Portals in the life support. The viewing portals look in upon the disturbingly crime me life support control room. Okay. Well, that security card. I cut his wrists. Well, in all honesty, I don't blame him in this current situation. September 23, this full shift changed. Thing is kind of strange. Putting Ronald in security when he's obviously not equipped strikes me as irresponsible. How oh well, I'm sure I can compensate. Okay. September, September 27. Our notice went out telling us to follow the new security guidelines this evening. I wonder what happened. It's only a few extra doors to lock as far as I'm concerned. Easy enough. Mm -hmm. November 7. Food supplies are stalled and people are getting nervous. Someone's been distilling alcohol despite the fact that express authorization is required to even possess it. Ivan was describing the concept of moonshine to Ronald and the guy asked how moonshine could exist if we're in a spaceship so far away from the moon. I swear to god, if aliens board the ship and pick us up one by one or something, I want to see Ronald go first. <laughs> Yeah, well... <sighs> okay, November 9. I really want to do something about this alcohol situation. It's my duty to ensure that the Groom Lake's crew is secure and that the important resource isn't inferred with... interfered with. At least I'd like to believe so. These clowns don't share the sentiment. Oh, some like to take their minds off things. December 19. Oh, that's a pretty big jump. The ass end of the ship just started exploding and shouldered everything that wasn't bolted down. There's a goddamn pen stuck in the wall next to me. I can only imagine old people insured right now, but can't leave on account of the lockdown. Lockdown or not, Station P is fucked. So getting to medical isn't happening. Someone suggested that we could use the specimen transport track but that's shady as hell. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Mm, there might not be a lot of choices. But it certainly isn't a good choice. December 26. There's no leaving the security center now. Staring at Ronald's lifeless body is a fucking superior alternative to being ripped apart by whatever whatever's outside. I hear screams. They're distant and muffled. Well, it sounds you guys would at least be security officers, so sh shouldn't you have something that you could try to at least use again? Something that would be out there? 28 December. Silence. 24 hours of silence. Not a scream. Not a footsteps. Still not a word from Ivan. The guy looked away from the atmosphere control room just before Ronald pulled the plug. I got bored and read Ronald's file. He had a lot of stuff running really deep. Maybe he wasn't ignorant after all. Mm -hmm. January 3rd. You have survived longer than the guy engineer who tried to leave at December. At some point at December from the downstairs. That's it for the water. 
Ivan refused to drink anything but moonshine. I tried my best to get him to have water. Stubborn bastard couldn't hear it. He hasn't moved in a while. And that's the last one. Last. Last from Paul. The crumbled body rests again, the slanted bulkhead in a laser re repose. The uniform indicates that it's a security officer. Yes. Yeah, it's just this. I was thinking that it's probably that. So, are you Ivan or the other dude that he spoke of? The security guard seems to have died while sitting, sitting in this cushioned recliner. It tilts back at an angle and will hold the body for a long, long time. <sighs> Ivan. Yes, you are Ivan Sureto. The guy that wanted to just drink the moonshine alcohol. September 23. This new guy Anderson is really something. This new guy Anderson is really something. Five minutes in the door and he's already asking what all the computers do. I like it. He's inquisitive, just like my boy back home. I'm glad he got put here in the ship chains, but I'm disappointed that neither of these two are ladies. I could use some female company. Hmm. September 24th, immediately afterwards. Okay, so maybe Anderson is a little more confused and inquisitive, but his heart is in the right place. I can respect that. But George... How in the hell did the boy get charged from Surata? Paul is just plain obnoxious. Hmm. November 1. Food's not coming for a while. Food's not coming for a while. Fortunately, someone's been making moonshine. It's not the white oak whiskey from back home, but you don't come across uh, much liquor in space. Looks like I'll be moderating the supply, so to speak. Mm hmm. November 10. Hutchinson just tried to arrest someone. Prick. Rations are in in November 23. Good thing too, the liquor wasn't keeping the crew at bay like it used to. Um, Rations, yes. November 30. This entire ship smells like shit. It's always been bad, but it gets worse every day. It's even a different type of shit every once in a while. Beyond me. Good. Good. Sounds very good. December 19, also from you. Chrome Lake is on lockdown. Tremors, power outages, and several injured. Hmm. December 23. Some guys left three days ago to repair a tram station. Haven't heard from them since. I can only fear the worst and I don't want to wait to figure out what's been going on around here. Paul and I have agreed on a solution, but Anderson isn't grasping it. I don't expect him to. Yeah, the Anderson was uh, really something, but... Well, not really the guy to be working there. Some guys left three days ago, December 25. I knew Anderson would have trouble coping. I know he wouldn't understand. At least he went easier than we will. So, yup. He died a bit earlier. December 26. He's so so much in his short life. There just wasn't room for more. True enough. December 27. He'll never have a funeral. Nobody back home is going to think of him and wonder what happened. I think Paul and I are the only people on this ship who knew him by name. Maybe that Samantha girl he was talking about still remembers him. Her dog could be named after him. Or maybe he picked her a flower and she ducked it into a book. I never did read months. But right now, I'd love to be holding a book. Bo would work. He's the only author I know by name. <laughs> well, at least you know some author by name. I haven't talked to Paul. He thinks I'm drinking. 
but I'm too preoccupied with Anderson for that. I figure I'm writing this for a reason. What if nobody ever reads it? What if the ship just drifts to the edges of the universe, dead and empty? If you exist, if you somehow stumble upon this, remember Anderson for me. It reminds me so much of how my son used to be. If you don't do it, nobody will. I don't beg. I never beg. But if you're a decent human, you'll know why you have to. Remember Anderson. January 7. Barely awake. Barely awake. Typing is an effort. Moonshine is not water. Hodgson had last word. <laughs> yes, barely awake. But you did stay alive longer than he did, didn't you? Because his marking was in January 3rd. Yeah. Yours was January 7th. Ivan refused to drink anything but moonshine. I tried my best to get him to have water. Stop and bastard wouldn't hear it. He hasn't moved in a while. But he wasn't exactly not moving for that reason. He... Well... Did make his last marking nonetheless at day 7th January. You did it before. Poor security guards. Do the security cameras have anything of interest? Possibly. If only I knew the locations, but this is probably a poisonous area. This hallway right here. So probably not a good place to go. And then there's of course area like this with a lot of cameras and some area we don't see into and then and that sort of a look. Don't know what those places are exactly though. Yeah, I was thinking that that's the same still. Computer terminal. Okay, crew security terminal. Crew quarters security locks. Alright, November 2. Alcohol is being manufactured and distributed aboard the Kloom Lake. Security has opted to take an approach of non-intervention as its effects on morale will likely prevent theft and potential riots associated with the limited rations. However, security will regularly confiscate quantities of alcohol to moderate the supply. November 22. Rations have arrived and have been distributed. Very few reported reported of uh, evidential cases of death. This can likely be attributed to a morale increase speculated as a result of the distribution of alcohol. December 6. Specimen Samantha received for transport to laboratory 18. I do feel sort of weird that... I guess that's why... Did that guy give the name Samantha to the specimen because Samantha was the girl he knew from back home? Hmm. Possibly. I don't know. Specimen Samantha received for transfer to laboratory 18. This specimen from the cloning vats is contained in an iron lung. Transport needs to be arranged quickly. Specimen is scraped in a case inside of the containment unit. Is it really a best idea to be keeping it alive? So it was December 6, yeah. December 19. Tremors have struck the Kroom Lake. Power outages and severe injuries have been reported. Lockdown is in effect. And then December 25. Four crew members have been reported missing while attempting to restore a tram station to work in order. To prevent future loss or injury, the corridor has been sealed and flooded with highly corrosive gas. So that is the place we saw. Right, lovely. Atmosphere control edges. Activate motion detector. Hmm. We'll need to figure something out here. Huh. So, would we need to be here to be able to adjust here? Lady, 
Ladies and gentlemen, please take a moment of silence to remember Henry Kane. We ask that you join us in recognizing his greatness. Possibly so. Just fucking open! Hmm. Intriguing motion detector. Huh. I don't think I have anything that I could do as of yet about it, to be honest. So, let's go investigate the other area. Then, crew commons. Once we know where Becker is, how can I get to her? There is another tram through the crew quarters. Once we know where you're going, we'll move forward from there. More trams. Yeah, I don't know if I would trust it either. Smile. God forgive us. Mountain images, a long landscape of serene mountainscape intended to provide a sense of calm and perspective. Well, that's just great. A dead body again. Lovely. Frosted glass door. This specifically large frosted glass door is coated with the dirt and necklet. Isn't pretty much everything here a little bit like of necklet? 